Hi, I am your Binibini 33, Stephanie Joy Abellionida from North Cotabato. My childhood is the most pleasant time of my life and reminiscing those childhood memories really makes me happy and really makes me smile because those were the times where nothing really matters yet and it was always a time for fun. I took my elementary in a public school and I was like a little helpless because we live a very simple life back there in our province. Yet, as I can remember, I was a child full of dreams, full of innocence, full of hopes, and knew nothing except to smile. Well, I cannot get back to those childhood years anymore, but the child in me will never, will never go. My parents are the most important persons and the most amazing people in my life for all their sacrifices that made me into the person I am now. They helped me in every step of my life, despite all our shortcomings, having a very simple life. They never turned me down. I might not have gotten everything I want, but they never lacked in providing everything I need and that is why I am very thankful for having them as my parents and I wish and I want nothing but to make them happy and proud. They are the ones who taught me and disciplined me, inspired me that life isn't about just the luxury but it's in enjoying and sharing love with your loved ones. The most, one of the most proudest moments I have in my academic life was when I was able to obtain a full scholarship for my college. It was so difficult for my parents to send me in college because we do not have that stable source of income. But despite that all, it was never a hindrance for my education. I was able to become a consistent dance lister during my college up until I graduated. And in fact, I graduated as a cum laude. And just last year, I was able to pass a licensure examination for certified public accountant. Such a great blessing. And I am very proud and very happy that I am very capable of making my family happy and proud. The event in my life that shaped me most as a person was when I experienced to fail. Despite my achievements, both academic and non-academic, I was, I was never an exception to failures. I experienced that when I took the board exam. I got the title the second time I took it. It was never easy. It was so difficult to accept because of the expectations of people from me. But I realized I needed it. I don't want failure, but I realized I need it because it was something that made me stronger, made me wiser, and it made me realize that there's a lot of things to be thankful about despite all those failures. Failures never define you. And so it's something that I am thankful that it happened in my life. And there is always spiritual gain in all those failures in life. Aside from winning a crown, what I am looking forward in Binibini Filipinas is to develop more my confidence and to be a better version of myself. And the very reason, one of the very reasons why I'm here is because I want to give pride to my province and make all North Cadipatenas happy and proud. Thank you.